Okay, hello, this is Olga Nerz from Young Digital Planet and today I'm interviewing Ms. Elaine Cork, Director of e-learning and innovations at Gravesend Grammar School. Hello. Hello. Could you please tell a few words about yourself? Okay, originally I was a chemistry teacher within our school and then over probably about the past five years I've taken more responsibility for how we use everything digital. Mm -hmm. And could you tell us about your school's profile? Yeah, I work at something called a grammar school, which means that in order for the students to be admitted, they need to pass a test, which they take when they're 11. Uh, if they pass the test, they come to our school. If not, they go to another local high school. In total, in the school, we have about 1,050 students. Up until the age of 16, it's only boys. But then from 16 onwards, we let in a limited number of girls. Mm -hmm. And how long has your school been using resources from Yteach Co UK? We started using the resources from yteach.co.uk in 2009, just after I'd been to a show at BET and saw how good the resources were. Mm -hmm. And what was your school's primary reason for using uh, digital resources? Within our school, we've had a big move to making things available all the time. So, and also we wanted resources that were of a high quality. Mm -hmm. So because Y Teachers resources filled both those needs, we decided that we would run it as a, initially as a really uh, wide scale trial, but we've carried on using it because we've been impressed. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe Y Teach portal in a few words? Um, I would say that it's comprehensive because it's got a wide range of resources that cover a whole range of different sciences. It's also um, very easy to find what you want. So as a consequence, it's very time efficient. It, mm -hmm. It's a good use of your time. Mm -hmm. And how often uh, your students and uh, teachers use the resources? We actually give the students free access to them <coughs> in terms of they will make, we make a lot of things available via, via our VLE, our virtual learning environment. But teacher directed things, I would say probably at least once a week, things are being used by students in one or other year group across biology, chemistry, physics, definitely. So maths is a little bit more limited. Mm -hmm. And as a teacher, what kind of benefits do you see in these digital resources? I think probably the main thing is the fact that you can allow the students to be independent when they're working. So instead of making the assumption as to what they understand or don't, they can find out for themselves what they understand. You then know what they understand so that you can target what you do in future to meet the needs that have been developed. Also, they're much more interesting than just a boring teacher. So a, a, a teacher will have a particular way of delivering something and this gives an alternative way of viewing the same thing, which is quite often beneficial. Mm -hmm. And what features of Yteach CO UK portal do you consider most crucial for facilitating teaching? I think the thing that I would put as the highest priority is the fact that things are really easy to find because if they're easy to find it means that your time which is very precious can be best utilised to find the, the best resource rather than surfing the internet looking at other resources that may be out there but you've then got to vet them for their quality and appropriateness. Mm -hmm. And a few questions regarding your students and what age group uses uh, uh, these resources? We have put in place um, Y Teach activities or the, use the Y Teach, Teach resources in every single year group within the school. So that's all the way from age 11 or age 12 up to age 18. And at age 18, the students actually request things so that if they don't understand something, they'll actually ask us if we can provide them with something to help them. Mm -hmm. So what is general attitude towards these digital resources? They are unbelievably positive. They particularly like the fact that they can work through things at their own pace, that they can get things wrong and go back to it. And it's non, almost non-judgmental. Whereas if they say something in class, they're going to think that either their peers are judging them or the teacher's judging them. Whereas it's sort of a low risk environment to get things wrong.
Mm -hmm. And uh, have you noticed any positive changes in absorbing and understanding new subjects from science and maths? I would say definitely yes, because if I look over history at things which previously people have found really difficult, and then they've done a white teach activity, and I look at how well they can they've acquired the information, their knowledge and understanding. In particular, I think their understanding is much much better because they've learnt firsthand rather than someone trying to push the information into them. Okay, thank you very much, and I uh, wish you all the best in your teaching career and many more good uh, experiences in using digital resources from Young Digital Planet. Okay, thank you. Thank you.